dear students in today's video we will look at this ph problem where we have been asked to find the ph of a solution when 70 milliliter of 0.2 molar hcl solution is mixed with 50 milliliter of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution this is actually a neutralization problem where hcl which is a strong acid reacts with a strong base sodium hydroxide to give us salt and water now to find the ph of this particular solution first we need to find the moles of each species involved in this reaction that is hcl and sodium hydroxide so let's calculate the number of moles of hcl and sodium hydroxide number of moles of each species can be calculated by multiplying the volume of the solution with its concentration so moles of hcl they are going to be volume of hcl is 70 ml convert this into liter so we will divide 70 by 1000 and multiply it with its molarity which is 0 0.2 and this gives us 0 0.014 mole similarly the number of moles of sodium hydroxide can be calculated 50 divided by 1000 multiply with 0 0.1 and this gives us the value of number of moles 0.005 let's write the balanced chemical equation we know sodium hydroxide reacts with hcl and this gives us nacl plus h2o this is actually a balanced chemical equation this means that sodium hydroxide and hcl reacts in one to one ratio let me write the number of moles of each species involved in this reaction underneath their formula so the number of moles of hcl are 0.014 and that of sodium hydroxide 0.005 if one mole of sodium hydroxide reacts with one mole of hcl then we will get one mole of sodium chloride and one mole of h2o now look at the number of moles involved in this reaction you could easily see that the number of moles of sodium hydroxide are less than that of hcl which means that sodium hydroxide is acting as a limiting reagent in this particular case limiting reagent this means that the number of moles of sodium hydroxide would consume first in the reaction leaving behind some of the hcl so 0 0.005 sodium hydroxide would neutralize 0 0.005 moles of hcl and leaving behind some of the hcl that would turn our solution into an acidic one so how much hcl would be left behind you can simply subtract 0 0.005 from 0 0.014 let's do it 0 0.014 minus 0 0.005 and this would give us 0 0.009 hcl left in the solution this is actually the number of moles of hcl left in the solution we know how we can calculate the ph of a solution ph is equal to negative log of h plus ion h plus ion concentration this means that we over here have number of moles and these number of moles needs to be converted into molarity how we can do that we will as we know molarity can be written as number of moles divided by volume of solution in liter so we have already got the number of moles which are 0 0.009 and volume in liter so the total volume involved in this particular case is 70 ml is that of hcl and 50 ml is that of sodium hydroxide so they comes out to be 120 ml but we need them to be in liter so 120 divided by 1000 after doing this division the molarity of hcl comes out to be 0 0.075 let's put this into this particular equation so ph is equal to negative log of h positive ion so it's negative log 0 0.075 you can simply take the negative log of 0 0.075 and ph would comes out to be 1.12 so you can see the resulting solution is an acidic one as we already knew that some of the hcl would be left behind in the solution 
and this has proven that the pH is an acidic pH. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please give it a thumbs up. Do let me know the other pH problems that you have. Thanks for watching.